first thing is the tasks plus the mentor, the mentor and the mentee system that is very, very effective. So it's like a real company thing, right? So what I would say is that uh, the mentor ment the mentor and the mentee system is very, very good because you have experienced people giving new people advice and giving new people ideas uh, and helping them better adjust to the new environment. Uh, this is also used a lot in the consultancies like PwC, Ernest & Young, etc. So it's a similar thing and you have a mentor mentee and then you're just bringing them up. Supportive environment. It's definitely a very, very good supportive environment. The second thing is um, that, you know, the new pyramid they made, which shows you at what stage you are. So that is a very good uh, motivating factor because you want, you know, you want to be on top of that pyramid. So ever more reason for you to, you know, push yourself forward, even when you're in those times, like, oh, God. You know, like I'm struggling with this. I'm going to get stuck. Like, what do I do? And there are a few challenges. The big, I think the biggest challenge would be in terms of, see, when you're in person with someone, it's very easy to just walk up to the person and ask them questions for clarifications. But in, but on like, since we're all remote uh, and everything is done on Slack. So, you know, you send it, like, sometimes you're like, oh, I want this response right now. So you send them a message and the response comes in like half an hour, 45 minutes later. So I think it's it's a lot about being, so that's a challenge. Uh, and, and it's a lot about being, uh, uh, what do you call it? What's the word that I was using? You, you just gotta be resilient, you know, and be able to just wait that out. And in the meantime, before you get the reply, you gotta do your own research. So this indirectly pushes you to further your research so that you're sitting there and spending more time finding the solution because you're not getting a response. So that's a motivating factor. You're like, yeah, I gotta go and do it. So that's a very good, that's a very, very good way of motivating. That's That helped me a lot because I remember even even like with SSIS when I was using it. So basically the whole SSIS thing started after I completed my initial tasks. And you know, I could see those flow charts. And that's where I was like, oh, I need to get on. I need to really get on this and I started researching. So, for example, like the mentor that I was reporting, you know, send the person a message and it would take a couple of minutes, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, a couple of hours sometimes. But I was like, you know what, I need to find a solution before she, before he or she gets back to me so that if I have any more doubts, I can always ask them. So this is a really good thing, you know, um, very supportive. And, and, and you know, the community is large. Um, so there are people from, uh, from computer backgrounds, I believe, who already have this pre-existing knowledge so you know they also kind of give you that little edge you know that this is how you do it and this came through the team the team view meetings because when people are making get, are getting these presentations from a technical perspective then you know you get an understanding of i remember there was a very unique one somebody had done and but some girl had done it, it was on the sprints now i didn't know like sprints actually existed in the computer science world so when she was talking about sprints, I was like, oh, sprints is just like, okay, you finish this, you go to the next, you finish this, you go to the next. And you like a step-by-step. -step. But I did not know there's actually a proper terminology that undermines this in the computer science world. So it was a very good presentation and that sort of gave me this extra, you know, a, a, a bigger, wider perspective on what it is. That was another thing. Cool. Um, and then, so, you know, it's, it's just being able to get information from different types of uh, individuals, uh, being able to relate to them from different angles, both in terms of the technical and the soft skills perspective as well. Because there are some people who are really good at something and there are some people who are terrible at something. So that really allows you to pull that information in. And um, also, so that so these are the two things which really got to me very very well and of course like the relationship between the senior members of the faculty you know such as you or uh ray etc so that relationship is very important because if you are approachable you know you can so like like the way you send your message hey said do i have a meeting so this makes it a lot more lighter and a lot more easier to work with and then you're like yeah you know, i like this you know this is so nice and then you're like yeah i want to do something if you want to become better. Yeah. So it's that, you know, the friendliness, the warm environment, that's very important. And that's something which I really value is when the senior person is 
very down to earth and at a level with everyone else and willing to give the same information to people so that they are better able to grasp what's going on. So I think overall it's like, it's pretty much what you would see in a wider company in an actual environment, you know. And um, now that we know Zoom is being used so much, this is definitely like it, it, it's a plus, you know, because everyone's going to be doing this for a long time. And I think once this idea is set in, people will actually start implementing it more, I believe, mm -hmm. using online meetings rather than just being an office app meeting. So I think overall, it just builds you in every single aspect in terms of, you know, just being able to, to talk really, to be able to gather information, to be able to deliver, to be able to support people, to take feedback. Plus, um, the community is large, so everyone is just ready to help you out. Of course, and the question hub is very, very good because that is a major thing, you know, where you clarify all your issues. Um, and I think it's just that entire contention and idea that you're able to think beyond what you've already got in your head. Mm -hmm. So divergent thinking is there. So I, I think then it all comes on the other person too. So everything is there for you, but the entire system is provided. Now it comes to the person, how they utilize it.